Hello and welcome to another video on this weird and wonderful AI art channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use uh, Flux Context to restore old images uh, and recolorize them at the same time if you like. Um, so for that, you obviously need the Flux Context model. Uh, let's switch over to my screen and where I have uh, my workflow loaded. Now this is based on the original workflow that is available in the templates in Comfy UI. You can find that under Flux and it's this Flux Context Dev Grouped. Grouped means that they have grouped a bunch of uh, nodes here into a single node. So that's what it looks like once it's grouped. It just makes it a lot simpler and easier to um, stage the processing with flux context the idea being that you can run a specific prompt to get this image restored to a certain level then you can run it again to modify certain parts of that image um, and so on so forth so you can stage it quite easily in this case i'm just using the one stage to restore the image which does a good job uh, i think the second stage will be useful if i wanted to recolor something specific so restore it recolorize and let's say the man's uh, tie needs to be in blue color i can specify that in the second um, stage here to basically color that blue once the restoration is done so that's how you would use that but in this case we're just going to use the one um, step and basically restore the image and on the right at the end I have basically combined the original and then the restored image into a side-by-side -side resulting image and I'm saving that as JPEG this is done using the was suite of nodes and it's the image save node from that package now I am running my workflow on comfy UI in the cloud and I'm using run pod I have a RTX 5090 available to me uh, for less than a dollar an hour. So that's pretty inexpensive to run and um, I can load the full model from uh, Black Forest Labs. Uh, I don't need the FP8, which is for lower VRAM. Um, so let's get started. Let's run this and see what we get as a result of this one. The prompt is quite straightforward. We want to restore and colorize, remove stained dust spots, fill any rips and torns, and restore it into high quality photo. Um, so let's run this. Should take a few seconds and here we go. That is the resulting image. We have the um, image generated on this side and then you have a side-by-side -side comparison so if i just open this image here in a new tab you can see a huge difference in the quality it has resulted in it has cleaned up all the cracks and marks added a little bit more detail to the faces of both of the individuals now of course there are some um, imperfections potentially this is not supposed to be there so we can retouch that in photoshop and clean it up a little more uh, but as a initial pass within a few seconds we have the uh, restored image so let's try another one here uh, let's go to this one again this one i found online as well uh, so did this one um, just to try and experiment with this it's a wonderful way of bringing people's memories back and restoring them to uh, the original times and photos that might be damaged, no negatives. It's a wonderful way to kind of recover and restore that for, for them. So let's run this on this one. And because I'm using a fairly high VRAM um, graphics card here, the size of this image isn't really a problem. Uh, this sort of image can be processed however it may struggle with something like a 24 GB RAM uh, graphics card or a 16 or lower uh, you could still try that with the FP8 model instead and also you would want to load the FP8 of the clip as well but here it will take a few seconds and we will be done with the restoration we'll be able to see the result We're going to see the result here. Oh wow, look at that. That's pretty damn cool. Uh, it's restored the image 
really well recolored it uh, it's detected it's kind of like a morning or a sunset scene more like morning and uh, it's added some nice lighting as well to the image uh, so that looks pretty good uh, I'm not sure this area here is potentially something we may want to retouch in Photoshop but overall I think it's done a fantastic job in restoring this image uh, the character is the same um, the eyes have a lot more detail in them and so does the hair um, and the sweater and the jacket have a nice pleasing color so overall restoring it nice nicely let's try restoring this image as well and that's the one I showed you earlier and hopefully it gives us similar result now so the image is small in size so it won't take long to restore um, but let's see if it gives a similar result to what we got before oh wow look at that uh, with a different seed it gave a different color to the top here which is not bad um, overall the image looks quite nice um, it's removed the cracks it's filled in the ripped areas here and here and looks like a complete image all right guys thanks for watching this video if you've got any questions leave them down in the comments below and if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe if you like this video give it a thumbs up it just lets me know you enjoyed such content and i can create more for you thanks again for watching i'll see you in the next one Bye bye